Christopher Livingstone Eubank Jr., born September 18, 1989, is a British professional boxer. He held the World Boxing Association, WBA, interim middleweight title twice between 2015 and 2021. He also held the International Boxing Organization, IBO, super middleweight title twice between 2017 and 2019. At regional level, he held the British middleweight title in 2016. He is the son of former two-division world champion boxer, Chris Eubank. As of September 2023, he is ranked as the world's best active middleweight by BoxRec, second by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, and sixth by The Ring Magazine. Early life Eubank Jr. was born in Hove, East Sussex, the son of boxer Chris Eubank and Karen Suzanne Stephen Martin. He was a pupil at Brighton College, Shoreham College for one year, and Spring Valley High School in Las Vegas for two years. Eubank featured alongside his father in the reality TV series At Home with the Eubanks. At the age of 16, Eubank Jr. and his brother Sebastian, 1991 to 2021, moved to the United States to live with a guardian named Irene Hutton. It was explained by their mother Karen, as a paper adoption, 10, as a means of gaining the two brothers' dual citizenship without the need to marry, and to enhance their prospects of sporting careers. Amateur career Eubank Jr. started his amateur career in 2007. With the winning of his sixth amateur fight, he became the amateur Golden Gloves champion for the state of Nevada in his weight division of 165 pounds. With his eighth amateur fight, he became the amateur Golden Glove champion for the Western States of the United States in his weight division. Eubank was 1-1 one one in the 2008 National Golden Gloves. He ended his amateur career with a record of 24-2. Professional career Early career Eubank Jr. turned professional in 2011 and signed with promoter McHennessy. He was mentored by his father and trainer Ronnie Davies who also guided his father. Over the next three years, Eubank Jr. amassed a record of 18-0 with 13 knockouts to his name. On February 19, 2014, Eubank Jr. signed a deal to appear on Box Nation, with his first fight being at the York Hall in London on February 22. In his first fight with Box Nation Eubank Jr. stopped Alistair Warren after Warren retired on his stool before Round 4. Eubank Jr. next fought at the Copper Box Arena in London on April 12 against Sandor Mixco. Eubank landed a big uppercut in round two, which dropped Mixco. The referee waved the fight off. In the post-fight, Eubank said, I'm the next generation. I worked on the uppercut in the gym and I connected beautifully tonight. When I connect with these guys, I'm taking them out. No one can stand up to my power and I'll only get better and stronger. I'm ready for a title fight now. On May 10, 2014, Eubank Jr. defeated Robert Swierzbinski at the Olympia in Liverpool. Eubank dropped Swierzbinski, 13-2 with three knockouts, seven times, stopping him in round seven. Eubank Jr. fought Stepan Horvath at Newcastle Arena in Newcastle on 7 June 2014. Eubank dropped Horvath four times, stopping him in round six. This was Eubank's eighth straight stoppage win on the Saunders vs. Blandamura undercard on July 26 at the Manchester Arena in Manchester. Eubank Jr. stopped journeyman Ivan Jukic, 19-2 with 12 knockouts, after 2 minutes and 40 seconds of the opening round. Eubank Jr. fought German Omar Ciala at the Liverpool Arena on October 25, 2014 in an eight-round fight. Eubank Jr. won the fight after a right uppercut knocked out Ciala in the second round middleweight Eubank vs. Saunders on September 15, 2014. Frank Warren announced that Eubank Jr. would challenge unbeaten Billy Joe Saunders for the British, Commonwealth and European titles on the undercard of Derek Kazora vs. Tyson Fury 2 on November 9 at the Excel Arena. On September 25, 2014 the fight was postponed due to contractual issues. On October 3rd, the fight was confirmed, but would take place on November 29th instead and would also be a WBO final eliminator. Eubank Jr. lost his unbeaten record when he lost a split decision to Saunders. The bout went the distance, with the experienced Saunders controlling the first six rounds with his footwork, style, and technical boxing ability, as Eubank Jr. was mostly inactive. 
From round 7 onward Eubank Jr. was in control with a much higher punch output, this resulted in the two young boxers brawling and trading hard shots for the rest of the fight. In the 12th round, Eubank Jr. came out gunning for the knockout but was unable to get it. The early inactivity turned out to be the deciding factor as Saunders was victorious. One judge scored the bout 116-113 to 113 to Eubank Jr., while the other two judges scored it 115-114 to 114 and 115-113 to 113 in favor of Saunders. Eubank vs. Shudinov on December 30, 2014, Frank Warren announced that Eubank Jr. would fight undefeated WBA interim middleweight champion Dmitry Shudinov, 14-0-2-9 KOs, on February 28, 2015 at the O2 Arena in London on the undercard of Tyson Fury vs. Christian Hammer. Eubank scored a 12th round TKO win over Shudinov. Eubank Jr. at the time of stoppage was ahead on all three judges' scorecards 106 to 103, 108 to 101, 107 to 102. In round two, an accidental clash of heads caused a cut above Shudinov's left eye. Eubank Jr. spent the rest of the fight landing power shot combinations and breaking Shudinov down. After the win, Eubank Jr. sought a rematch with Saunders, this result is redemption and I'm back. And I want that rematch, Billy Joe Saunders. I'm coming for you. Ultimately however, despite given multiple chances Eubank refused to sign the fight which would have earned him close to £1 million. After 2015 that was mostly inactive, Eubank Jr. signed to promoter Eddie Hearn under the Matchroom Sport banner. Hearn is the son of Eubank Sr.'s former promoter Barry Hearn. Veteran trainer Adam Booth was added to the team to co-train Eubank. Eubank vs. Jeter Eubank Jr.'s first fight after signing with Matchroom was about against Tony Jeter on October 24, 2017 where he defended his WBA interim middleweight champion, after knocking Jeter down in the first round, Eubank Jr. knocked Jeter down twice in the second round before landing a flurry of combinations, forcing the referee to stop the fight. Loss of interim WBA middleweight title following the bout against Jeter, Eubank Jr. was stripped of the interim WBA middleweight title due to his inactivity defending the title. Eubank vs. O'Sullivan on December 12th. 2015 Eubank Jr. fought Gary O'Sullivan in an eliminator to challenge the de jure WBA middleweight champion, Daniel Jacobs at the O2 Arena in London on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Dillian White. The bout was originally scheduled to take place in May 2015 The fight was well anticipated, as the pair had a history of feuds in the past, with O'Sullivan targeting Eubank on social media. The fight throughout had the pace set by Eubank Jr., O'Sullivan showed resilience to Eubank Jr.'s continuous hard uppercuts. At the end of the seventh round, O'Sullivan's corner retired their fighter, who had sustained a perforated eardrum. Eubank vs. Blackwell In February 2016, Hennessy Sports announced a fight between Eubank Jr. and Nick Blackwell, 19-3-1, 8-KOs, for the British middleweight title would take place on March 26 at the Wembley Arena in London. Eubank Jr. dominated the fight to the point that Eubank Sr. began imploring the referee to stop the fight. Following the eighth round, Eubank Sr. instructed Eubank Jr. to stop hitting Blackwell in the head, the referee called a stop to the fight at 2.21 in the 10th round and awarded Eubank Jr. the win by TKO. Blackwell was taken to hospital with bleeding on the brain and was placed in a medically induced coma for treatment, from which he was bought out one week later and retired from competitive boxing. The fight averaged 1.5 million viewers on Channel 5. Eubank vs. Doran After re-signing with Matchroom Sport, it was announced on Sky Sports on May 18th. 2016 that Eubank Jr. would fight on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Dominic Brazil at the O2 on June 25, 2016. Tom Doran was announced as Eubank Jr.'s opponent on May 19, 2016. Prior to the fight Eubank Jr. was ranked number 2 by the WBA and number 3 by the WBC, Eubank Jr. won via fourth-round TKO to retain the British middleweight title. Doran was down once in the third round and three times in the fourth as the referee ended the fight. Eubank Jr. called out Gennady Golovkin in a post-fight interview with Sky Sports. 
cancelled Langford fight it was announced on August 12, 2016 that Eubank Jr. would make a mandatory defense of his British middleweight title against undefeated Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental middleweight champion Tommy Langford after promoter Frank Warren won a purse bid to stage the fight. Eubank, however, relinquished the title in September after suffering an injury in sparring. Proposed Golvikin fight throughout 2016, Eubank Jr. made it clear that he wanted to challenge the undefeated unified middleweight champion Gennady Golvikin. The purse split for Eubank Jr. was reported to be up to £6 million. Eubank Sr. wanted his son to earn a bigger share, due to the risk of fighting a big puncher. In July 2016, Golovkin was confirmed to have signed his end of the contract. On July 8, 2016, Eubank Jr. was removed from the fight by promoter Eddie Hearn who offered the deal to then-IBF welterweight champion Kel Brook, who took the deal to fight Golovkin on 10 September 2016. Eubank Jr. responded to being replaced by stating he had never been presented with the fight contract. Boxers including Tommy Langford, Martin Murray, Curtis Stevens began calling out Eubank. Super middleweight Eubank vs. Quinlan on December 13, 2016, Eubank Jr. announced via his Facebook page that he would be making his debut in the super middleweight division, fighting Renold Quinlan, 11-1 with 7 knockouts, for his IBO super middleweight title. Quinlan won the then-vacant IBO title defeating former world champion Daniel Giel in October 2016 via knockout in round 2. The date of the fight was confirmed to be February 4, 2017 with the venue being at the Lee Valley Velo Park, Olympic Park, in London. Despite having not previously fought at super middleweight, the December 2016 WBC super middleweight ranking update had Eubank Jr. at number 7, previously being number 2 at middleweight, on January 6, 2017, Quinlan threatened to walk away from the fight citing that in his opinion there was little to no promotion, with the fight being only weeks away. He stated the build-up has not been enough to promote the biggest fight of his career, it's only a few weeks away and I've got the feeling that it's going to be delayed. There's been no media around it and it's not getting the exposure it should be. I've been training well but I'm not 100% focused now. I have a feeling it's going to get pulled. The fight went ahead as scheduled. Eubank Jr. stopped Quinlan in round 10 in a fairly one-sided fight to win the IBO super middleweight title. The fight was stopped by referee Howard John Foster, 2 minutes and 7 seconds of round 10 after seeing Quinlan backed up against the ropes after being hit with continuous headshots. After a steady start, Eubank started taking control in the fifth round when he started using his speed advantage over Quinlan. After the fight was stopped, Eubank stood on the ropes in the corner in his trademark stance. In the post-fight interview, he gave credit to Quinlan, describing him as a tough fighter, it was like hitting concrete. Big respect to Renold Quinlan. He flew halfway around the world to defend his title against one of the best in the world. He didn't have to do that. Eubank said that he was comfortable making 160 and 168 pounds and wanted to fight Golovkin, Saunders or DeGale next. Eubank vs. Abraham reports suggested on June 1, 2017 that Eubank would make his ring return in July 2017 defending his IBO super middleweight title against former multiple weight world champion Arthur Abraham, 46-5 with 30 knockouts, in London. The two potential dates discussed were the 15th and the 22nd of July. At the time the fight was being discussed, Abraham was the mandatory challenger to the WBO super middleweight title, held by Gilberto Ramirez, who defeated Abraham in April 2015. On June 5, it was confirmed that the fight would take place at the Wembley Arena in London on 15 July 2017. The official press announcement was scheduled to take place on 7 June, at the weigh-in. Abraham weighed 12 stone 1 pound 5 ounces, which was 1 pound 13 ounce over the limit. He was given two hours to lose the extra weight. Eubank Jr. weighed inside the limit at 11 stone 13 pounds 3 ounces. It was said that if Abraham couldn't make weight a second time, the fight would still take place in a non-title fight. Abraham made weight at the third attempt. Eubank Jr. won via a unanimous decision with the scorecards 120 to 108, 120 to 108, and 118 to 110. 
Eubank outlanded and outpointed Abraham. The previous time Eubank Jr. went the 12-round distance was his split decision loss to Saunders in November 2014, and the previous time he won a fight on points was on his eighth professional fight in December 2012. Eubank Jr. landed heavy uppercuts throughout the fight, many single and some in combinations, with Abraham only managing to connect a few shots clean. Eubank Jr. spoke of Abraham's performance, he's definitely the most durable opponent I've faced. I hit him with every shot in the book. He didn't win a round and I'm happy with the performance. With the win, Eubank Jr. advanced into the World Boxing Super Series. World Boxing Super Series on July 7, 2017, Camosa AG, a joint venture between Sourland Promotions and Richard Schaefer, announced the winner of Abraham and Eubank would be taking part in a super middleweight knockout tournament called the World Boxing Super Series. Eubank vs. Yildirim in Monte Carlo on July 8, 2017 Chris Eubank Sr., Eubank Jr. picked undefeated Avni Yildirim, 16-0, 10 KOs, to face his son, as part of the tournament draft, the fight was confirmed following Eubank Jr.'s win over Abraham. Promoter Kali Sauerland said official confirmation of a venue and date would be announced in the coming weeks, on August 8. 2017 it was announced that the fight would take place on October 7 at the hans martin schleyer Halle in Stuttgart, Germany, marking it the second time Eubank would be fighting outside the UK since turning professional. Eubank Jr. used his hand speed and power shots to stop Yildirim in round three of their fight to confirm his place in the semi-finals of the tournament. Yildirim was forced to take a knee in the opening round when Eubank landed an uppercut. The fight came to an end after a flurry of shots, which were unanswered and the final punch was a left hook to the head which again dropped Yildirim. Referee Lesek Jankowiak stopped the fight without counting, whilst Yildirim attempted to get up. At ringside after the fight, Eubank Jr. stated, I am here to dominate this tournament. I am sending a message out there that I am coming. Eubank Jr. landed 59 of 201 punches thrown, 29%, whilst Yildirim landed 23 of 91 thrown, 25%. Before the fight, a brawl broke out in the crowd. Eubank vs. Groves due to winning their respective bouts in October 2017, Eubank Jr. and George Groves, 27 and 3 with 20 knockouts, were due to meet in the semi-final of the tournament. At first, promoter Kali Sauerland stated he would try to book the fight for a stadium in either London or Manchester. In November 2017, ITV News reported the fight was set to take place on February 17, 2018 at the Manchester Arena in Manchester. The winner of the fight would earn his place in the final of the tournament and the WBA, Super, and IBO Super Middleweight titles tickets for the fight sold out in seven minutes. Groves weighed 167 pounds, a full pound under the weight limit and Eubank came in at 167.5 pounds. Groves secured his place in the final of the tournament after defeating Eubank Jr. over 12 rounds. The judges scored the fight 117 to 112, 116 to 112 and 115 to 113 for Groves. Groves, the bigger man in the ring, used his jab to control the fight after a cagey round and mostly fought on the back foot, occasionally landing the big shot. An accidental clash of heads caused Eubank Jr. to receive a cut on the side of his right eye in round three. The cut was dealt with by his corner after the round, but as the fight went on to the later rounds, blood was seen flowing from the wound. The fight had a high number of clinches and unclean punches from both boxers. Groves retained his WBA title but did not claim Eubank Jr.'s IBO title as he did not pay their sanctioning fees. Groves also suffered a dislocated shoulder in round 12. It was said that Groves weighed around 184 pounds on fight night. After the fight, Groves said, It was about who wanted it most, I think, and I obviously wanted it most. The jab was landing correctly all night. When he had success, it was because I did something wrong. He was strong, he was aggressive, but that obviously wasn't enough tonight. Eubank replied, I thought it was close. I thought I did enough in the later rounds to win the fight, but it was a close fight. And all credit to George. You know, 
This is all part of boxing. You win some and you lose some. Hopefully we can get a rematch. It was enough of a good fight to have another one. Punch stats showed that Groves landed 117 of 398 punches thrown, 29%, and Eubank landed 92 of his 421 thrown, 22%. Many pundits, who, and former boxers stated Eubank should move forward and hire a trainer. Both boxers earned a base purse of £1.5 million, which could increase due to sponsorship and PPV sales. For days after the fight, it was revealed that Groves did not fight for the IBO belt after failing to agree on sanctioning fees with the IBO's president Ed Levine. On May 9, Collie Sauerland explained that Groves could potentially be replaced by Eubank Jr. in the final of the tournament against Smith, however there would be confirmation on the final in the next 10 days. Sauerland stated, We're working at the moment on all the solutions and scenarios where George, Groves, is fit and where he isn't. We're hopeful, Groves will be fit, so we'll see. You can't start the tournament and then have the final lingering into the next tournament. I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. We can push a month, but we can't push it back by three or four months. We have a substitute system. We said that from day one, and that's the situation. We want Groves in the final, but if that's not possible and he doesn't declare himself fit in the next 10 days, we have to find a solution. On September 17, Sauerland announced that Eubank Jr. would fight J.J. McDonough on the George Groves vs. Callum Smith undercard on September 28 at the Indoor Sports Hall at King Abdullah's Sports City in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Eubank Jr. won the fight via corner retirement. McDonough chose to stay on his stool after round three, complaining of a shoulder injury. The crowd booed the stoppage. McDonough was knocked down in the opening round from a left hand to the head. In round three, Eubank Jr. began to land a lot of shots on McDonough. McDonough was willing to stand and trade with Eubank. The high work rate from Eubank Jr. eventually backed McDonough off. Eubank stated he was not convinced McDonough injured his shoulder and only took the fight on short notice for a payday. A fight nearly broke out when McDonough heard Eubank Jr.'s comments. Eubank vs. DeGale on January 3, 2019, an official press conference took place to announce that James DeGale vs. Chris Eubank Jr. would take place on February 23. 2019 at the O2 Arena in London. The rivalry between DeGale, 25-2-1, 15 KOs, and Eubank began a few years earlier, after a series of run-ins, from sparring with one another in the gym to trading verbal insults across social media. Serious talks around the fight first began in July 2018 after DeGale vacated his IBF super middleweight title. The fight was originally intended to take place in December 2018, but contract for the fight was not agreed. The possibility of the fight was first announced in November 2018. Eubank said he had been training in Las Vegas at the Mayweather Boxing Club alongside former boxer Nate Vasquez. Eubank said, instead of me going through the motions and trying to beat guys using heart and determination. Now we have strategy involved. This is going to take me to the next level. International Boxing Organization President Ed Levine confirmed their super middleweight title would be at stake. On February 23rd, Chris Eubank Jr. defeated James DeGale by a unanimous decision. The scorecards read 114 to 112, 115 to 112, and 117 to 109 for Eubank Jr. DeGale suffered knockdowns in round 2 and round 10 after Eubank Jr. landed a series of blows. Return to middleweight Eubank vs. Korobov on December 7, 2019, Eubank Jr., ranked number 1 by the WBA, faced former title contender Matt Korobov, ranked number 3 by the WBA for the vacant WBA interim middleweight title. Korobov got off to a strong start. However, 20 seconds into the second round, Korobov injured his left shoulder. Shortly after, Korobov couldn't continue, and the referee awarded Eubank Jr. with a second-round TKO win. Eubank vs. Morrison Eubank Jr. returned on May 1, 
2021 after 17 months to face Marcus Morrison at the Manchester Arena in Manchester, England, under the stewardship of former four division world champion Roy Jones Jr. as his new trainer. Eubank Jr. was victorious via unanimous decision, with all three judges' scorecards reading 98 to 92 in his favor. Post fight, Eubank Jr. reflected on the bout which had gone the full 10 round distance. I had him, Morrison, hurt bad in the second round and probably could have ended the fight. But I wanted rounds. I wanted to use some of the stuff that Roy Jones has taught me. Experience the instructions he was giving me. If I see an opening, I usually take it. But I'm here to learn with a new coach. You can't get better by knocking a guy out in the second round. I decided to keep him in there. He's a tough kid. Eubank vs. Autogen on October 16, 2021, Eubank Jr. faced Wanak Autogen at the Newcastle Arena. His shorts and ringwalk robe were adorned by the name of Sebastian, his brother who had died in July 2021. Eubank Jr. won the bout via fifth-round corner retirement. Eubank vs. Williams, Indiana, the biggest indoor arena boxing show in Cardiff, Wales in over 20 years, Eubank Jr. faced his Welsh rival, former world title contender Liam Williams, at the Cardiff International Arena on February 5, 2022. Williams' home advantage ultimately did not pay off, as Eubank Jr. produced a dominant display to emerge as the winner via wide unanimous decision, with judges' scorecards of 116 to 109, 116 to 108, and 117 to 109. In the first round, Eubank Jr. sent his opponent to the canvas when he knocked Williams down with a jab. He scored another knockdown in the second round, this time knocking the Welshman down with a left hook. Williams was down yet again in the fourth round as a result of a slick Eubank Jr. combination. Although Williams improved in the middle rounds, Eubank Jr. scored a fourth knockdown in the 11th round, before showboating in the 12th and final round to cement what had been a dominant performance. Speaking in his post-fight interview, Eubank Jr. stated his happiness with his victory in spite of Williams' dirty tactics and pre-fight trash talk, I am happy with the performance, I wanted to teach that man a lesson, he said some quite menacing things to me in the lead-up to this fight. I wanted to punish him. I didn't want to knock him out in one round, I wanted to punish him. Headbutts, headlocks, I am surprised he didn't get disqualified. But I took it like a man and I punished him like I said I would. It was a fun night. Cancelled bout with Connor Ben in 2022, Eubank Jr. announced he would face Connor Ben at a catch weight of 157 pounds. This fight has been marketed as a grudge match of sorts, considering the fathers of both boxers, Chris Eubank and Nigel Ben, maintained a fierce rivalry throughout the early mid 90s, culminating in two fights a TKO victory for Eubank during their first meeting in 1990, and a draw three years later in their second fight. The fight was scheduled to take place on October 8, 2022 at London's O2 Arena. Eubank Jr. later admitted in an interview that he was struggling to reach the required 157 pounds weight limit, which proved to be cause for worry with his father, who threatened to pull him out of the fight. Eubank Jr. has also stated that if he did lose the fight, he would retire. On October 5, 2022, a statement was released from the British Boxing Board of Control declaring the fight was prohibited from taking place on after Ben tested positive for clomiphene. Ben's promoters, Matchroom Sport, released a statement saying, Ben has not been charged with any rule violation, he is not suspended, and he remains free to fight. Despite Eubank's promoter also saying the fight will go ahead as scheduled, it was officially postponed. Eubank vs. Smith Eubank Jr. fought former WBO light middleweight champion Liam Smith at the Manchester Arena in England on January 21, 2023. Eubank was beaten after the referee waved off the fight in the fourth round. Eubank vs. Smith 2 A rematch between Eubank Jr. and Smith was originally scheduled for June 17, 2023 and rescheduled to July 1 at the Manchester Arena in England. The bout was then rescheduled for a second time to September 2nd due to an injury to Smith, 
Eubank won the bout after the referee stepped in to wave off the fight in the 10th round. 